Now there's some things you can do with the data after this if you want to create custom reports outside of Hoboware. Uh, basically there's three different ways to do that. One is to you can simply do a copy of the data uh, plot to your clipboard and that allows you to paste it into any other um, application that you may want to create a report in Excel or uh, Microsoft Word or something like that and that is very simply a right click and a copy graph to clipboard and all that does is copy the graph part only the XY plot the other way you can get this into a an external program is to do a print points if you go to file and select print points and I'm not going to do that right here but basically what you end up with is that you get the table configured just like this uh, it's not in an Excel spreadsheet format it is strictly for printing um, you can print it to a file you can print it to an Adobe file or you can print it to a printer the way most most of our customers use uh, export the data for reporting is to uh, a spreadsheet format and you do that by going to file and clicking on the right button which is export points as Excel text again you can export details but all that is all it is is the um, deployment details it's not the data you want to export the data and it gives you the ability to export to a single file if you don't have too much data or you can actually export it to multiple files as there is a um, a line limitation in Excel okay. now the format of the of the file and how it's exported is set in the file preferences and there's a lot of uh, we could do a whole webcast about preferences in Hoboware. Uh, my suggestion would be when you get the software is to go through pre uh, pre uh, preferences and uh, configure it as you would like to. Export settings is where you would do that and basically you can select comma, semicolon, or tab separated variable. Uh, you can set up the time and date format to be in separate or uh, a common column and you can include in the column he header or exclude the logger serial number or this and the sensor serial numbers if um, if they are smart sensors which is a different product than what we're talking about today so that gives you a lot of flexibility in how you want to uh, handle your data and how you can export and uh, use it uh, to create your custom reports that concludes our webcast on data logging software. Thanks for joining us. To learn more about data logging software, please visit our website at www.onsetcomp.com.